apple-cinnamon's my favorite combo. Especially when you use it to bake. Just a dash of milk. Oop, excuse me. This fresh pot's calling my name. Don't mind me, I'm just stirring away. Or rather, whisking away. Gah! The coffee machine! This stuff really flies! How do I even clean this? It's too hot to touch! Which may have worked in my favor. It's like a little pancake griddle! Who knew? It probably tastes good, too. Oh yeah, pass the oil. We're kicking this thing into high gear. Who knew this thing could be so versatile? And who doesn't love mini pancakes? Whoa, look at this guy go! Time to flip. Very nice. Can we speed this up? We're hungry. Okay, it's looking just about ready. We're getting a pretty good stack going here. My mouth is seriously watering. Tell me about it. Thanks. Now let's dig right in. These may look small, but boy do they have big flavor! Good thing I bought milk yesterday. I just need one cup. And now we blend! A minute or two should be good. Is it supposed to splash like that? Watch the eyes! I'd be surprised if any was left in the bowl. It's like a strawberry cake facial! How could you betray me like this? I'm never baking again! There, I'm almost finished. Huh? Is that Bella? What's wrong? Actually, no words are necessary. How'd this happen? Gimme that. I think I have an idea. With a whisk and a pair of pliers, make your own mixing device. Once the prongs are pulled a bit, put hot glue on the tips. Make sure they're sizable globs. They're not going to attach to anything. Then let them dry. Dry those tears, Bella. You're damp enough as it is. Feel better now? A head massage should calm you down. It tickles a bit, but feels good, right? Hey, it's really working! Shower first, hug second. You should always start your morning with your favorite breakfast food. And for Betty, that's cornflakes. Oh, what a mess. See you next time, cereal! Scram, little flakes! Hey, any of that left for me? That looks pretty good. Come on! There! Oh no! This is simply unacceptable. Betty! Betty! Yeah? What happened? Do you know how to close a box? Let me show you how it's done. Take three tabs and fold them down. Then dent the side in like this. Do it on the other side, too. Then tuck the last tab in like this. There! Now it's nice and secure. See? Spill proof and then some. Well, that's different. 
Here, now you get to work. I have to get to class. Whatever you say, Bella. This teacher may be lively, but boy, is this class boring. Ugh. Almost dozed off there. Maybe a little sugar rush will wake me up. I'll just have some. Oh, is that my hair? Or is it growing its own? G get back in there! Now what do I do? That's it! My notebook! Did you know this can be a candy holder? Start by cutting the cover with a blade. And follow along the ruler just like this. Now get rid of the square you just cut. Now, take a plastic pocket and tape it behind the open cover. Grab your candy and slide it into the pocket. The more colorful, the better. Start at the top and work your way down. Yeah, just like that. It may look like candy now, but when you flip the book closed, it looks like a regular book cover. See? It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Not to mention the tastiest. Mmm. And that, my friends, is the human body. She's done? Oh! Oh, stop. I'm blushing. If you're a real foodie, you know there's nothing better than an ice-cold, delicious ice cream bar. Hey, Vicky. Want a taste? Whoa! That's way more than a taste, girl! One thing's for sure. If you love food, you don't always love to share. Whether you eat to live or live to eat. If you're a foodie, you know a trip to the grocery store is the best part of the week. Ooh, look at all these treats. But perhaps the trickiest part is putting the groceries away. Since they often take a pit stop in your mouth. See what I mean? Chocolate spread is a staple in Olivia's kitchen. Yep, she's going right in with a spoon. No shame in her food game. Wow, need a water break, girl? That's a whole lot of dip. Good thing you remembered to buy more bread. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. This is the perfect warm-up snack before lunchtime. Hey, looks like there's still a little more spread left in there. Yep, you just ate an entire jar of Nutella. An entire jar. Yet you somehow feel a need to get every last bit with your fingers. If you love food and social media, you'll definitely relate to this. Like to spend hours every day looking at food on Instagram? Oh man, that melted cheese is absolutely divine. Oops, drooled there. Wow, look at that melted chocolate. Unbelievable. Ah! Who ate my birthday cake? I will kill whoever did this. I didn't even get a bite! That's it. I'm getting down to the bottom of this. Let's see. I'll start in the fridge. The box is still here? <gasps> You've got to be kidding me! Who ate the last piece? Oh boy. This is really bad. Okay, where's my emergency chocolate stash? No! It's completely gone! Grr! Looking for this, Olivia? How could you? So chocolatey. Mm. Whoa! Wait, was that all just a nightmare? There's only one way to know for sure. Mm, my cake. Oh, thank goodness. My sweet baby is okay. Since I'm up, I may as well eat it. Oh man, I feel so much better.